were you prepared for such a time or exactly. would you say you are you are focused because i remember mm -hmm. it was in 2020 when uh we expected that uhc mm -hmm. would be rolled out exactly. uh, to the rest of the 43 counties exactly yeah. and so again it's interesting the world did not see COVID coming yeah. um as a country one good thing is that we always have what we call pandemic prepared preparedness plans mm -hmm. those are plans that all governments have not just kenya many governments sit and you know determine should we get a shock in terms of the health system usually a pandemic how will we deal with it so we had our plan but i can tell you experiencing covid made us move faster when it came to setting up infectious disease units it made us move faster when it came to interactions and engagements with the experts i'm sure you've seen all the experts who are now you know helping us manage this pandemic it made us move faster when it came to testing facilities remember we started with just two labs and we moved quickly to about 47 now even more labs across the country so there were gains um and when we look at the uhc journey of course there were disruptions <laughs> primarily at that time we had you know no idea in terms of we have a pandemic coming in and so our focus was on you know can we ready our health facilities to deliver services to kenya mm. and it's interesting having engaged with uh, different kenyans the main thing that they want is we want doctors in the facilities we want the medicines available in the facilities and we want this health care to be affordable mm -hmm. and i can tell you the government was already starting to tick these boxes yeah. in terms of health care being affordable we had already started looking at nhif as an implementing vehicle for this and again, um, interestingly, because when, when, when you invited me here, I was reflecting on this journey of mm. UHC, um, and I've been engaged in the journey now for almost yeah. five years, yeah. uh, even prior to me taking the current appointment that yeah. I hold. And I looked at NHIF, and it's remarkable. Um, many may not know, but short of maybe seven years ago, you could not get cancer services through NHIF. You know, short of you know, seven to five years ago, you could not pay for dialysis with your NHIF card. NHIF only took care of your daily bed ribbit. Mm -hmm. That was it. Five years ago, you could not get your surgery done. You could not get your fibroids removed. You could not get knee surgery. Now you can. Mm -hmm. And really, that's a testament.